Hey everybody, it's Laura, also known as Sephora Junkie, and I just wanted to go ahead and show you my MAC brush collection. I'm gonna, This is going to be part one, just because I have uh, quite a few MAC brushes. These are going to be my face brushes, and it, I've had multiple requests for this, and I'm so sorry it took so long to get this video out, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have. So, just to let you know though, I have been collecting brushes for the past, I'd like to say, eight months or so, and my collection has grown quite a bit. My suggestion is for, for people that want to collect MAC brushes is just to do it a bit at a time, you know, um, because they are expensive, I'm not going to lie, but they're very good quality. I've had some of my MAC brushes for over almost 10 years, um, some of my eye brushes I've actually had for, for quite some time, and if you take care of your brushes, uh, these can last you a really long time. So uh, let me go ahead and I'll show you what I've got. I'll start first with the, the big brushes that I have in the back here. This one here is the MAC 179, which is a body buffer brush. Um, I got this, at, I believe, back in October or something, with, and um, you can use this for chroma cakes. It's good when you're wanting to put a lot of color on your body, like if you're doing costume makeup or, you know, uh, stuff for Halloween. That's a great brush. The next one um, th is the MAC 180, which is a flat top buffer brush. It's good for mineral makeup foundation. The next ones I have uh, Kabuki's here. Um, those, the one, the very small one here is the Mac uh, 181 um, SE edition. That one actually came with one of the sets I got from the CCO. The next is the regular Mac 181 buffer brush. The next one beside that is the larger version, which is the Mac 182. I also have uh, two flat top um, brushes here. This Smaller one is the MAC 183, I believe. And the larger one is the MAC 185. I'm gonna be going a little bit fast though, just because I have quite a bit of brushes. So if you have any questions though, let me know. Uh, the next one here is the MAC 184, which is a fan brush. And uh, I've heard a lot of people using this for um, the blushes. The next is 116, which is my personal favorite. I use this every day. Great for, um, you know, putting blush on the apples of your cheeks. It fit, it does, you know, it works well with my um, cheeks there, and it's, it's a really nice brush. Super soft. I love it. The next one is the MAC 109. I love using this one for blending. Um, it's great for, uh, you know, blending your foundation as well as, like, stu uh, Studio Tech. Next one here is the MAC 129. Another, um blush brush. This is a slightly larger than the 116. I have the 134, which is a large paddle brush. You can um, use this for powder. Like, you know, the shimmer powders, if you want to put it over a large surface of, surface area of your body, um, or, or if you can use it for um, set powder. The next one is the 136. I don't believe they have this anymore. This is a flat blush brush. Next one is the MAC 192, and it's good for the um, emollient cheek products. Next one here is the MAC 138, which is like a pointer, pointy brush. And I actually haven't used this, but I've heard that it's really good for contouring. You contour, and then you can just buff it out with this brush. My personal favorite is the MAC 150, which I use for my setting powder. Next one here is the MAC 168, which is a white goat hair contour brush. The next one beside it is the MAC 169. And this came out with the Raquel Welsh collection. So that's 169. The 191, which is great. I use this for my moisturizer and sometimes primer. So that's the MAC 191. My other favorite is the MAC 187. I use this one every day, and I actually just cleaned all my brushes, so that's why they're all really clean, but I really do use this one every day. MAC 187, I love it. Another dual fiber stippling brush is the MAC 188, which is a smaller version of the 187. People have used this one for blush. I've used it maybe once or twice for blushes, but I actually prefer using my 116. The next brush that I have here is the MAC 174. This one I can, I think you can only get this at the pro stores. 
and um, it's great because it's an angled brush. Um, it was pretty pricey though. So this is the 174 angled brush. Next one is the MAC 189. I believe this came out with the Sonic Chic collection with all those um, mineralized skin finishes. This kind of reminds me of a cross between the 190 and one of the powder brushes because it's really soft, but it is firm, but soft. Okay. The next one is the MAC 129. It's a short handled version of the regular size 129 brush. Again, you know, this almost reminds me of like, well, this is pretty much like the travel size versions of the 129. The bristles on here are soft though. Um, it's not as rough as the um, travel sets. The last one that I have is the MAC 190. Again, you know, you can use this for primer or foundation. And that is the MAC 190. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. This is actually my third take making this video, so my throat is really dry. But, um, you know, this is my face brush, my MAC face brush collection. Uh, these are actually all the full size brushes I have. I do have quite a bit of the travel version, but I didn't want to go ahead and show you that because it's pretty much just saying the same thing over again. But if you guys have any questions, comments, let me know. Um, you know, my personal favorites, again, if anyone is wondering, is the MAC 116, which is a uh, blush brush, the 187, which is a dual fiber stippling brush, the 109, which I use to blend out my foundation, and the 150, which I use for my setting powder. So that's it. Um, if, again, you know, uh, just let me know if you have any questions. And I will be coming up with part two, which is my eye brush collection. All right, I'll talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye.